Hey guys, this is Cute Cream Pastries and this is going to be craft update 4. I haven't done a craft update in a little while but I've been trying out some new things and also going back to cold porcelain and polymer clay. The first thing I'm going to be showing you is something that I showed recently in a Halloween themed tutorial. It's this super cute marshmallow ghost lollipop so if you haven't seen that tutorial go check it out now. I think it turned out really well actually and I think it looks pretty realistic. So I decided to deco some containers because I haven't done any decoing or deco denning for ages. So this is the first one I made and I think it looks really cute because the frosting is actually pretty realistic. And this is the second one that I tried out. This idea is actually an original idea. I used pink Pritt stick and I also coloured some clear Pritt stick on another container that I decoed. I thought it would be interesting to try it and see how it turned out. It dried nice and hard like any other decoing material and I also added some iridescent glitter and the same bead again. So then I had the idea of making a charm out of felt. Recently I've been really liking the character of Nato-san, I think he's such a cute little bean character. So this is what it looks like, it has the eye pin so that I can attach it to a cell phone strap. It has shading and on the front I added darker areas to give the effect of a cracker. Its face is made out of chocolate and then it's got little strawberry blushing cheeks. And then it has a vanilla and strawberry cream filling. I really like how this turned out and since it's an original idea I would appreciate it if you gave me credit if you decided to make this. So I haven't made anything out of polymer clay for a long while because I'm not the best at it. But I gave it another go, yesterday in fact, and I'm really happy with the result. I made this little bear pastry and I'm really happy how it turned out. It has two little fruit cane slices, some strawberry drizzle and some micro marbles. I did loads of texture and shading to give the effect of a realistic pastry. So I also made some charms out of cold porcelain. Firstly I made this super realistic mini melon pan. It's really tiny and I added so much texture and I'm really really happy with how this turned out. Then I made an even tinier bitten high chew charm. Again, I think this looks pretty realistic. It's got the high chew gum and then the strawberry filling. And then I made a set of two little pastries. So I made this really realistic donut. It has strawberry drizzle. I worked really hard on the texturing of this and I think it turned out pretty well. And then the second one I made was this little cream filled bun. Again, I worked really hard on the texturing and I think this looks pretty realistic. It has a strawberry cream filling and also a little eye pin. And then finally, out of cold porcelain, I made this little strawberry fruit pastel charm. I think it looks really realistic, so I'm happy with this. And then finally, I have these two mini sparkly sheep that I made out of Play-Doh. So cute and tiny. And then an even smaller shimmery silver sheep. So I hope you enjoyed. Remember to rate, comment and subscribe.